Hello friends, welcome to episode 16. In this video, we are going to see case resolution process in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, so we have a scenario in front of us where the company is Tech Quantum and the customer is Adventure Works. And Tech Quantum provided a training to the employees of Adventure Works on Dynamics 365 with 30 days of support. Now, after using the system, uh, the employees of Adventure Works have uh, raised an issue uh, with Tech Quantum saying that they are not able to qualify leads in Dynamics 365. Now, that example where uh, we created the case was done in episode 15. So you can have a look at that video. So what we are going to do in this video is use the existing example or existing case and try to resolve it. So we'll try to see the steps that are involved in resolving the case. Now, of course, every company can have their own business process. But over here, we are trying to use the out of the box a business process available uh, for us so that you have a good idea of how you can proceed with the case resolution okay so the case right now is under my active cases uh, the reason is because I am the active owner of this case and as you can see I have logged in as MOD administrator so that is my user ID against the case so it's under my active cases however if it's not listed in my dashboard uh, the other way that I can find that case uh, out is by going to the case list and doing a quick search on the title. I can also use wildcard characters and that case would be listed over here that I'm looking for. Uh, by the way, um, there are three ways of searching for cases. I've discussed that in detail in one of my previous videos that is episode 15. So it would be good if you can have a look at that as well. So let's just open this case. Since I was the first responder, I had created this case and uh, it is available under my active cases. So what I can do is that um, you know before I assign this case to a um, particular consultant or a support consultant in this case it would be Kelly Kraut one of the other users I would specify the contact uh, which would be uh, Nancy Anderson uh, within this company where who had contacted us to log the case so I will save this information I am ready to assign this case to the support consultant so for that I can click on assign over here and right now it's assigned to me so I can click on this so that I get an option of user or team and then I can choose the user uh, in this case it would be Kelly Kraut who is our support consultant and the best person to handle this case. So now over here we have logged in as Kelly Crowd. As you can see, the user currently is Kelly Crowd. And uh, I'm under my active cases. So if I refresh this, I should be able to see the case that has been assigned and here it is. So now as a user, I can go ahead and try resolving the case. So as a support consultant, I would like to have some more information. So what I did is I had a phone call uh, with the customer to understand the issue. And I came to know that the issue is actually uh, related to the security roles. So I already had that phone conversation, but I can go ahead and log in that uh, information in my timeline. So what I do is I click over here and create a phone call activity. And I say that, you know, um, phone call with customer, phone call with customer uh, for more information. Okay, so that is the subject that I have specified over here. Uh, let's say, uh, let me also specify a phone number. Let's just put in some dummy phone number over here. And then in the description, I can say, okay, understood the issue and the, and the security rules are not applied correctly. I say, okay, it was, it took me 30 minutes to have the whole phone conversation and understand the issue. So I'm ready to save and close uh, this task. So this is now registered in my timeline. So now it goes as a history in the timeline that this phone conversation was held between me and the customer. So since this task is already completed, what I can do is I can close this activity over here from the timeline. So it will go ahead and close uh, the activity and mark it as complete. So I will just close that. And now you can see that if I select this task, uh, the mark as complete uh, icon is not available. That means this activity is closed and the des description has also changed that the full call from Kelly Kraut has been done. 
So I have understood the problem. Uh, I have identified everything and I'm ready to move this to the next stage uh, that is qualify. And maybe in qualify, I had um, some more information together like the entitlement. Now, um, entitlement is something, for example, you know, how many cases in a month uh, can be raised by the particular customer. So those kind of things uh, will be discussed in upcoming videos. Uh, it's a different, different section altogether. So right now, I will just leave it as it is and move on to the next stage. And I say that it's qualified and now it's in the research state. Now, in the research stage, well, you can consider the phone call that I made was actually research or it can be, you know, for example, internally, I discussed that with other consultants or find a KB article or try to find out another case, a similar case that was there so that I can attach to it or I can attach a KB article and send it to the customer. But over here, what I have decided is that uh, the best way to resolve the case is to have an online um, session with uh, screen share a session with the customer and you know explain how the security rules work and how they can apply so what i do is i create another task and say that i need to have an online session and the discussion is online session to Resolve the case by explaining how to apply rules. Now, uh, you know, as a user, it's important that you can specify as much information as you want because maybe tomorrow, if you're not available and some other consultant picks up the case, so he or she would have all the information in the system. So uh, it depends upon the business process of a company but uh, it is always advisable to provide as much information as you can so we'll just leave the due date um, uh, as it is and uh, for the duration I say that okay it took me um, let's say one hour and the priority was normal and I will save and close this window so I have registered that task so that task is available in my system. That means maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I've scheduled this task that I have to do that. And let's say I have just done that task and have resolved the case. What I can do is I can come back and then close this activity. Now it is important to, that you close all the open activities before you can actually close the case. So I say that, you know, the case is actually resolved. Why? Because I have taken the online session and I've explained them and they are good to go. So, um, uh, what I can do is I can move this uh, case to uh, uh, the next stage, which is the resolve state. And I can say that the resolution is done and the, because the online session was done, so it is finished. Over here, you will notice that the status is still in progress is because um, we have not technically closed the case yet. So to absolutely close the case as the final step, we can click on resolve case over here. And what this will do is it will change the status of the case and it will also provide you, you know, it will also ask you what was the resolution. So it was um, on online session uh, with customer on security rules. So you can uh, add as much information as you want. And if you notice that the total time is 1.5 hours, that is, it is going through all the case activities and seeing how much hours you actually spent on this case and it's calculating the total time um, for you so that you don't you don't have to calculate that. So it, it's, it is actually important that you register every activity that you do for a case and also close those activities so that it can be counted for. But obviously I can go ahead and I can say it because you know there was documentation email which went ahead so it took a little more time. So I will say the total billable time was actually two hours. So this is my actual and I can say uh, case uh, result or whatever information you want to add and I can click on resolve. And once I do that, um, the status of uh, the case is then changed to result as you can see over here, problem solved. Now, since you have resolved the case, now this case, as you can see, is read only. That means you cannot make any changes over here. 
but it's not hard and fast. If you want to reopen the case, you can reactivate the case again and then you can activate whichever business process that you are in and then you can go ahead and start uh, you know doing the same process again now since all the history is already men mentioned in the timeline um, if there is any other support consultant who's looking at this case he can easily identify okay what happened throughout the case and uh, provide a better solution so this is how you can follow the process of case resolution in Dynamics 365. Uh, I hope you got uh, a summary of it. Why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself?